Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome with Cooking with Camille. Today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, we're going to do, they used to call it in the Army, S-H-I-T on a shingle. I didn't want to say the word, S-H-I-T on a shingle. So I was going to spell it S-H-Y-T and call it but I don't want to pronounce it. So I'm going to make my own thing. Because usually you use a pot roast or a beef something. We're going to use a brisket. So I'm going to change it. A customer of mine gave me an idea. Her name was Joy. And she said, well, why don't you call it Soul on a Biscuit? And I think that's a good idea. Soul on a Biscuit or Soul on Toast. Well, I'm going to do a biscuit because i got to save my bread for something else. So we're going to do sole on the biscuit. That's what we're going to call it. So you're going to need three large potatoes, one large onion diced, and cube uh, tomatoes. You're going to need some garlic salt and some Italian seasoning. And we're going to need some um, a little thyme. And the roast beef already um, is flavor. And some pepper. And uh, I got the, not the roast beef, the brisket. Well, I'll get a skillet. First thing you're going to do is go ahead. I'm going to take some of this oil out. That's too much oil. Put it here. Just need a little bit of oil. And we're going to go ahead and fry our potatoes and onions. Okay. I got a lot of brisket, so I'm doing a lot of potatoes. I want to get rid of it. And what I don't use, it was in the freezer, and I want to, it was already cooked, and I want to use it up because I don't want to, I don't like to keep a lot of stuff in the freezer a long time because uh, the freezer burnt. So I'm going to try to use as much as I can. The rest will go to the dog. And okay, we're just going to season our potatoes with a little Italian dressing, I mean Italian seasoning. And some garlic, salt, a little thyme. Some pepper. And some paprika. And you just let it go and cook until we get it brown up. So while we're cutting, uh, cooking that, put a lid on it, we're going to cut our brisket up, okay? Turn this this away. Get a lid on that. Let me turn the lid. Okay, and then we're just going to get our brisket and chop it up. We're going to add that in last because it's already done. Just pull it apart and chop it up. And we'll add that in when the potatoes are almost done. Okay, so just go on and get your meat together. You can pull it's so tender already, so it's just you can pull it apart and let it thaw it out while it's at work. So you don't have to add no seasoning to this because it's already seasoned. But I'm gonna add just a little more little garlic to it. Okay, and just cut all it up till you get all what you want. And while you're doing that, go ahead and preheat your oven for your biscuits. At 400. It's so hard to find biscuits nowadays. I had a, I got, got uh, my one biscuits at uh, Acne, but I'm saving that for something else. I went to Walmart and I found some over there, so I picked that up. Because I was going to do bread, but I went on and did this. So we'll see how this turned out. Okay, we're going to check it. See how it's going. Looks good. It's browning really good. I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic salt. And that's it for the potatoes. And I'll add some to the meat. Okay, I'm going to start 
Then I got a pot of water over here where I'm making to make a little gravy to go over it. Okay. Then you just uh, add your meat to it. Like so. Stir it up. Y'all remember now? Take your back. My mom used to use her leftover hot rolls and put it in. I was in the we in the army. They had this quick meal, easy, cheap meal. Or they use pot rolls. I'm using a brisket. Okay, I'm gonna use my better than bouillon roasted beef base. I'm gonna use that to make the gravy. So just add a little at a time. If you add too much, always know you can always add water to it. So we're gonna get that to the flavor you want. I'm not gonna make a lot of gravy, just a little to put over that brisket. We'll go come back to that. This is coming along, look at it. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. Remember they called it back in the army, S-H-I-T on the shingle. But today we're gonna call it Camille's thing that a customer gave me. Soul on a biscuit. That's what we're gonna call it. Soul on a biscuit. And uh my customers always giving me some good ideas. Um uh, my one customer, uh, Victoria. A young told me put it over toast. I said that's a good idea. Then a customer told me put it over a biscuit. And I said that's a good idea, but it's so hard to find biscuits right now. But I found some at Walmart, so that's what we're gonna use a biscuit. Okay, let's check everything. I'm going to thicken the gravy. I had some extra brisket. I'm gonna put over here for anybody who want a sandwich. And then this is the. Soul on a biscuit, and then I'm warming up the leftover potato chowder soup. I'm having a few guests over. We're going over a baby shower today, so they're all coming over. And this, I'm sure they haven't ate, so I'll give them something to eat. Okay, I'm gonna add my roux to the the beef broth. Let it thicken a little bit. Let that cook down a little bit. Okay, it's thick enough. I don't want it too thick. I want it just a little loose. To, just to have a little gravy flavor. Okay, now I'm going to add the gravy a little bit at a time to the mixture. Just a little bit. Stir it. But then they can serve it over biscuits. And we're going to put this on simmer real low for the rest of the gravy and just let it simmer. Okay? And we'll just let that simmer. And then the ones that don't want that with potatoes and onions, they can just make a sandwich out of the brisket over here. Make a sandwich. Then we got the potato soup. I'll put that on low too. We'll be fixing the plate in just a minute. And while we're waiting on the biscuits, and I'm gonna clean up, stir the soup up. Warm it up. It's fine. Doing good. Okay, so the biscuits are down. We're gonna plate up. You're going to break your biscuit in half, like so. And we're going to bring... Uh -oh. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Don't that look good? Oh, my goodness. We're going to get the tongs and bring that and just put it over the biscuit, like so. 
Okay, and then we'll just get some parsley and sprinkle on it for color. So you have your potatoes, your brisket, and your biscuit. Full dinner right there. Okay, there we go. And if you want to add the soup to it, you can add a cup of soup to it. Look at that. Thank you, Victoria, for saying she can use, you could either use toast and put it over toast, Victoria's idea, and then Joy, a customer I met today, said, why don't you put it over a biscuit? So since I was going to put over a biscuit anyway, but I couldn't find them, so I was going to go with Victoria's uh, idea with the toast. I said, that's a good idea, but I found some biscuits. Okay, everybody, sold on a biscuit. Sold on a biscuit. Don't that look good? Oh, my goodness. And let's add a cup of soup with it. Okay, there we go. Potato corn chowder. Sold on a biscuit. That's brisket with potatoes and biscuit. Potatoes and corn, cream corn and corn chowder. Wonderful. Wonderful. Let me get a spoon. Look at this. Look at that. See the potatoes and the corn? Left over from yesterday. It even tastes better when it's a day old. Okay, have a good day. Have a blessed day. Please like and share and follow. Don't forget to put a comment on YouTube only and enter into the contest. Today, potato corn chowder and sold on a biscuit. Thank you for, for watching Cooking with Camille.